Hey everybody! Welcome back! Northern Lion plays The Binding of Isaacs. We've got two good runs in a row, at least if I do say so myself. I think uh, I hinted that we were going to play as Azazel this time, and I think I'm going to follow through with it. Not because we need, like, an easy victory, but because... I'll just look at our seed here. Um, DN2V... Five Knights at Freddy's 2. That's not really how that works, but anyway. Um, not because we need an easy win, but rather because I think it's going to be kind of easy and I'd like to just knock it out, if that makes sense. So, I mean, Azazel runs... Oh my god, really? You're going to give me 12 cents on an Azazel run? Right off the bat? That seems a little overpowered. Aurora Borealis. In this part of the year. <laughs> in this time of the... In this part of the country. Completely isolated in your kitchen, anyway. Yes, I call them steamed hams, even though they're quite obviously grilled. Well, that's a really bad start, actually, to take that damage, but... Uh, my thinking is, Azazel gives us a really, really good chance to, um, let's not even need that bomb, apparently. Um, it gives us a really, really good chance to win. I would like to keep our momentum up, and, uh, you can never guarantee that your momentum's gonna stay up, uh, as any character, but the best chance is probably Azazel, plus it's been a little while since we played as him. So, I don't mind. It's like, I might actually die, and that's a little embarrassing for me. Uh, yeah, I'm not feeling great about that. But at the same time, I'm not overly worried because we are Azazel, so even losing two-thirds of our HP and having no means to replenish it, um, you know, still leaves us in a better position than you'd be in with many characters. I'm not sure if I'm comfortable saying most at this point, but uh, we're not done with this floor yet either. So I'm not overly concerned. That was some terrible damage, though. That's what I'm telling you, though. Gurglings. Oh, shit. Okay, so I hear that Dr. Fetus as an item is actually horrible now. So this might be terrible, but there's no way I, I can't do it, you know? Like, I gotta go, I gotta give it a try. Just trying to see if maybe our secret room is over there. Uh, the ability to fly, plus this jaunty top hat. We look the, like the protagonist of, like, murdered soul suspect right now or something. I think this actually makes us a lot worse, but there's no way I can say no to it. Plus, I believe that the bombs, the reason that I think it's bad now is because the bombs scale with your damage or something like that, so. Um, oh my god, does it really take three bombs to kill one of these spiders? If s Wow! This is just trash now. That was... I really expected that it would still kill them in one hit. At least, but uh... Sure, I mean, we get unlimited bombs. That's probably not the item I was looking for there. Um, that's... that's alarming. The fact that this is so bad is alarming. But again, I believe it scales with your damage. That's pretty crazy good luck. Uh, so if we can get some more damage, maybe it could be amazing. I almost took even more damage there. Where are you gonna be? There you're gonna be. Okay. Easy, easy. Just play it very slow here. We're in a bit of a complex situation. Let's not worry about, you know, boss rush mode or anything like that. Just worry about survival. Now, this Emperor card, I love it because if we do get to the boss rush mode, I know, I, I am full of shit, but uh, if we do get to the boss rush mode, we can... Uh, Use this to just take a free item and then leave, which I think is pretty good. Look what it, it's like the sneakiest deeks of all time out of lust here. And we're finally getting a, a bit of a glimpse into how much damage we're actually doing thanks to the HP meter. And I think it's a lot less than the little miniature brimstone we'll be doing. Well, teleported us inside of the shop. I'm going to take PhD for sure. And I'm going to buy this, uh, that right there just to make sure we're okay there. And then we got a health upgrade as well. Okay, that, uh... That has me feeling a whole hell of a lot better about this situation. That could have been really bad. As it is right now, it's just sort of bad. And our, our damage is something we're going to be looking to change, but... Uh, well, it's certainly a, a more interesting item now that it might not really work at all. Really hope that that would be our secret room, but oh well. Alright, so we're gonna, we have to change our strategy, and I want to articulate it as much for myself as for the people watching at home. I'm gonna be trying to blow up pretty much everything we come across. In the hopes of, uh, there we go. In the hopes of getting a little lucky here. I'm not gonna pick that up yet, but don't let me leave this floor without it, I feel real bad about that. Where the hell is our regular secret room? We found our second secret room. Fire's not that meaningful to me. Pin should be easy. Really? I was like... 0.1 seconds too fast. As you can see, uh, Dr. Feet is a great item against Pin. Absolutely wrecking him. Normally, uh, 
Fetus in a jar would probably kill Pin in one hit. You might need two if you got unlucky. It is deflecting him, so I appreciate that. Let's be honest, the Fetus items probably did need a nerf. This is my first experience with them in Rebirth, though, and it's uh, not a grand one. Who uses grand anymore, unless they're like in a production of the fucking Great Gatsby or something. I apologize on my own behalf. Not on anyone else's behalf. That's that's on me. So probably like two bombs away. Now I'm definitely giving up on boss rush mode because it's going to take us, uh, by my calculations, about six or seven hours in order to finish every single boss fight here. Uh, yeah, okay, you know what? Let's sort that out. That seems pretty sweet. <laughs> I think that might sort out our, uh... Our damage issue there. And let's just talk about the fact that on one run, we had... I know we didn't go to our item room. We didn't have, really have a choice. On one run, by the third floor, we've already had Brimstone and Dr. Fetus and Mom's Knife. You know, what can I say? I, I'm a man who knows what he likes, but uh, hopefully we carry over not our damage from Dr. Fetus and we carry over some damage from Old Brimstone instead, which I'm assuming is how this is going to work. Um... This puts us in a position where I think we can actually accomplish something. Plus, I can't get over the, like, jaunty kind of top hat angle we've got going on here. Alright, I'm feeling a lot better about this run now. Hopefully we'll actually be able to access, uh, maybe even an item room or something on this floor. Although, let's be honest, we probably don't necessarily need it. Why do I have the Fool card instead of the Emperor card? Uh, did I F that up somewhere down the road? I think I did. Oh well. PhD as well, so if we uh, manage to come across some pills, they'll be good, or we could blow up some mushrooms to have a better chance to get some pills, or maybe even some mushroom items, you never know. That seems pretty sweet. Let's check for our secret room here. Can't always get what you want. Now, do you know? Do I even need to say it? Our boss rush mode is on. I am like freaking Brett Favre's career. You can tell that's a good reference. Uh, as a Canadian, I don't know many football players, but... Uh, I do know football players who were on the cover of NFL Quarterback Club 98 from Acclaim, and I know all of the football players who appeared in uh, the 1998 Fairly Brothers movie, There's Something About Mary. So that gives me a cross-section of one, which is also my favorite Offspring album. Anyway, six minutes into this run. We're going quickly now, so we can afford to take our time, somewhat paradoxically. We have a key, so... Although we could access our shop. I think our shop had enough credit last time. Let's try to give ourselves some love from the item room. And this is new. Lazarus's rags. Eternal life? Question mark? So I'm assuming this just does what uh, Lazarus don't. No, it does what Lazarus does. Which is that uh, he comes back to life in the same room if he dies. Which is actually a really nice, uh, really nice bit of trickery. Does this work? No. So we'll take it. Just because why not, right? Um... With PhD, this room seems amazing. We could even telepills out if we want to. We got a health upgrade. We got a key. We got hematemesis, which is just free HP. And we got another health upgrade, which must have been a health downgrade. Uh, that's a pretty useful room for us. Yeah, let's telepills out. If we found I am error or whatever. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty amazing for us right there. Uh, Lazarus's rags are pretty good as well. It actually gives you more benefit than you'd expect, I think. And we'll try to take the Fool card with this, because again, free item from the Boss Rush room seems really good. Humbling Bundle, absolutely. And why don't we take Mom's Purse, because we can afford it. This is actually shaping up to be one of the most overpowered runs we've had. Wheel of Fortune, I don't care about. We'll check out our secret room. I think we're still going faster than the norm. And yeah, Humbling Bundle allows us to get a ton of cash out of that. You know what? Let's try a bomb here, maybe get some more pills. Oh. Okay, well, Are You a Wizard isn't really what we're looking for. That's okay, though. Where'd we drop our Fool card? Where's our Fool card, though? Is that up here in our... Did I leave that in our curse room? Alright, well, I feel very silly about... I feel very silly about that, but it's not that big of a deal. Where did I leave it, anyway? I, I figured it wasn't there. We got the Empress out of it, though. Maybe that's even better. I don't want to have to fight in the boss rush room, though, if I don't have to. We're almost certainly going to make it now that our speed is so high. Maybe we left it... Over here somewhere. Actually, I think it was in that room right to the left. We don't need the damage from the Empress. I know it's going to be frustrating. People are going to be like, oh, just leave without it. The Fool card is a free, great item if we get a little lucky. 
I think it's worth investing in. If you're going to hold on to a Wheel of Fortune card from floor one all the way down to the chest just to blow it up and get a shitty item, maybe, the chance to have, like, your choice of four items, I think, makes this uh, worth doing for sure. And you don't even have to take it to the chest. Just down to the Depths 2 or Necropolis 2. That was probably not worth it. But oh well. And our damage is going to be out of control for now. It's kind of amazing, all the stuff that's happened to us on this run already. It's been certainly a very colorful run. I like Rebirth for that. Uh, you, it would happen occasionally in vanilla. You'd have a run that was like a little silly. Those runs seem to happen a lot in uh, Rebirth as a result of the fact that your synergies can like completely change. Uh, in a heartbeat, basically. So, Humbling Bundle is going to give us a stupid amount of money here. Genuinely, like, a really dumb amount of money. We're already at 43 cents. Uh, that's going to take us to 47. I figured we'd just come up here and fight in our boss rush room. Oh, man. Blood of the Martyr for a damage upgrade. I almost got it confused with Stigmata, which is actually hilarious because they both have different uh, looking models now. And that was a, a confusion that I often got into in vanilla but anyway I feel like I'm, I'm playing the game right now not not playing the game in the in the like Binding of Isaac context but playing the game you know in kind of like the two can play that game Vivica A. Fox movie you know Battle of the Sexes War of the Roses type thing um, so that's good I feel like I can pretty much bend the game to my will right now and it's working out very nicely I mean a free damage upgrade is lovely now all we need is Krampus's head. I only half joke. That did do very well for us on the the last run. There we go. Once these guys go down, the uh, other silkworm is very easy to take down. Try to look for secret rooms if we have time. I do like if I'm gonna take this fool card with me. The only way we get value out of it is through that boss rush like cheesing. So I have to make sure that I'm at least that was so bad that I'm at least giving myself the best chance plausible to do that. This is our kryptonite right here, is these enemies. Uh, sure, you know, Doctor's Remote. There's no situation in which I could see myself conceivably using Doctor's Remote when we can instead take that, like, three seconds and actually do one hit of damage that would kill any enemy in the game right now with Mom's Knife. But, you know, we have it, so I guess we'll take it and be relatively pleased with it. That doesn't feel so good. I would still welcome our deal with the devil opportunities. I'm not sure what we'd be looking for. Obviously, items like Dark Bomb are pretty much just universally universally useful. Um, paralysis is not a good pill in contrast to what the game would have you believe. So I'm going to try to do a bunch of donations. I mean, even the Bible is not worth buying, I think. Not that it normally would be, but I was like, it'll give us a one-hit KO on Mom. Is that worth holding instead of Doctor's Remote? I don't know. I don't think so, honestly. All right, HP and boss. Now we can become Guppy, too. That'd be sweet. Now, here's Krampus's head, as indicated. No, we got a lump of coal. Okay. Uh, maybe that's better. I don't know. We'll be heading down to the next floor with uh, probably a l good bit of optimism in our hearts. This is probably the way people felt when they walked into the movie theater to watch The Matrix Reloaded. Little did they know what would happen afterwards. Actually, all, you know, first, there's no question about it. First Matrix, best Matrix. But I do think the Matrix Reloaded gets crapped on a little bit. It's got some stupid self and self bleh, self indulgent stuff going on. Mom's pad is a little better for us, even though it's still kind of bad. Um, but uh, it's nowhere near as bad as Matrix Revelations, I think. And of course, you know, whenever I talk about taste, everybody's entitled to their own opinion. And if you disagree with me, totally fine. You, a lot of people say, you know, oh, it's okay if you disagree with me if you got good reasons. I don't give a shit if you got good reasons, honestly. You know, well, you're entitled to your own opinion whether you can back it up or not. Um, so I think we take the blank card just because it could be interesting. Also, I think we've totally fucked up and lost our... Uh... Does this work with uh, whatever anything else we have going on? No, I don't think so. I think by taking the baggie, it turns all tarot cards into pills for the rest of the game. So I might have like totally screwed myself out of even being able to use blank card, but... If we somehow find a card, then we could get good use out of it. I think it turned our fool card into a Are You a Wizard pill, which pisses me off because I had good uses for that. But anyway, it still could be good because we have PhD, so getting more pills is not a bad thing. But, uh, you know, kind of a not a great use of money, maybe. 
But yeah, you know, at least the Matrix 2 has some okay action scenes, even though bullshit like that, like, uh, Mr. Smith fight in that schoolyard with the, the pole, you know, that didn't work well. Or it, it hasn't, uh, aged well, I should say. Into the 21st century, well, it was already made in the 21st century, but it hasn't aged well into 2014 here. That being said, it's still kind of enjoyable in its own kind of, you know, action-y way. Monica Bellucci's in it, that's always a plus. But, uh... Revelations I just found mostly devoid of uh, any redeeming value. For myself, personally, at least. We're only at 12.50 here. Pretty early still. Yeah, that's good. Um, thinking we might even want to take Guppy's Paw with us, because even though I just bought Blank Card, I don't think it's going to work because we picked up the baggie. Now, I'll be happy to eat my words. If we end up uh, getting a uh, getting a card that I want to replicate, I'll, I'll absolutely do it. I would love to. But I don't think we're going to. And that's okay. Now, it's worth noting we have like seven, well, six and a half minutes here with which to uh, explore this floor before losing our chance to do boss rush mode. So, boss rush mode is definitely on the table. If we could get a telepills, that would be awesome. There's our boss room. That's pretty cool, too. I don't really want to fight in it right away, but I appreciate it showing up. Guppy's Paw actually does have some long-term prospects to it now. You know, if you take the Polaroid, you can use it for permanent Polaroid invincibility. The same way you would in vanilla. Uh, but also, at the same time, you can also just keep it till like, the end game. And then, after you lose all your HP, it's almost like a super weird full health pill. You can turn all of your existing red heart containers into spirit hearts and then just have them have to whittle them down again. It's like doubling your HP on a fight if you need it to happen. And then you could probably do it again when you came back to life with uh, Lazarus Rags, I guess. Assuming, of course, that Lazarus Rags actually works the way I'm expecting it does, which is just as Lazarus's item. Or at Lazarus's... You know what I mean. You come back to life. On the same room. So it would give you like 3 HP. Eh, it seems alright. Well, um, I don't think there's much need to beat around the bush here. Monster Manuel's pretty bad. Even though it is, I think, a little better in Rebirth than it was in Vanilla. Nun's Habit's probably worth picking up. And, you know, I'll pick up Mom's Key as well for some extra keys. And I'll pick up the health upgrade because why not? And then I'll buy this. And then, after all that, I'll give my last remaining three cents to this machine. I was kind of expecting... To have a little bit more to offer. I apologize for that, but that's okay, you know? Next time. I'll hit you up next time. Don't worry about it. Disappointed there. Plenty of time still, so I'm, uh... I was thinking about going to the boss rush room, but I think it's... Or the boss room and then the boss rush room, I guess. But, uh... Instead, I think I'm gonna explore a little bit. Just because I do think there's a decent chance we get, uh... We get some pills. And if we get some pills, they could be telepills. And we don't have to deal with the boss rush room. We could just walk in, take an item, and leave. So I'm really hoping to get Brimstone, by the way. People keep tweeting me. Used to be Tammy's head in Brimstone. That was what I got tweeted 15 times a day. And I appreciate that, by the way. I'd like to see it. But uh, now it is Brimstone Mom's Knife. Just a Brimstone shot that shoots out like a variety of Mom's Knives out of it. I would happily take that as well. We don't have any money with which to access that. It's a disappointment. What about uh, Secret Room? Okay. What about, like, a secret room, though? Okay. But what if I uh, brought this to your attention? What if we came over in this general direction right over here, and I put this bomb down and said secret room? Okay. Well, I'll tell you what, then. This is, uh, this is no chance. This is the secret room. Oh, I was trying to use reverse psychology there. You got me, game. Congrats. Let's go fight our boss. Stand like right. I probably shouldn't have. St oh, yeah, I definitely should have shot now that I look at it. I was like, I'll just stand there and that'll give me the best chance. Not true. All right, let's take the Polaroid. We can go to the devil room after. X ray goggles. Onk. The weird uh, goo thing. And Virgo. So if I'd known that that was Virgo, I would not have taken it. I would have taken uh, probably the weird sticky goo thing. The other reason I'm doing this is just because I actually, you know, like, expect to maybe even gain HP out of this. You know, usually you can get an Eternal Heart or two out of this. Little song and dance here. We're already basically one-shotting all the bosses, so it doesn't strike me as, like, that big of a problem. 
Man, if I'd known that we would have a shot at this, I would not have been as concerned as I was, and I really was, uh, back when we picked up Dr. Fetus. Now we can say we've had it, at least. We can add it to our collection. But man, I'm not sure if that item is going to be super usable. If you had a shitty run, absolutely. If you were not having a shitty run, you're about to have a shitty run. Talk about getting up on the wrong side of the bed. What? Oh, it's a sp I was like, seriously, I didn't understand what was hitting me. Had a little bit of a brain fart there. Some David and Goliath shit. I think Goliath gets a tough rap in that David and Goliath story. It's always like, the story is always about the underdog beating the overdog. You guys ever hear about fucking sports? Like the underdog, they win like 45% of the time. This dude had odds that were probably like slightly worse than a coin flip or something like that. Beats Goliath. Goliath has trained his whole fucking life to be like the biggest man on the block. Has one off day. And then all of a sudden, he's renowned as like the world's biggest loser. He didn't... He had to make himself Goliath first, you know? Like, it wasn't just David versus Tom. This guy had clearly had like some experience in the fighting arena. Wins probably 100% of his matches. Loses one on a bad day. And for the rest of his life, it's always like, Oh, don't get cocky. Remember Goliath. Fuck, dude. He had like a 99.9% .9 win rate. He's one of the greatest fighters in human history. Well, you know. I don't want to get into a discussion about whether or not David and Goliath fight actually happened, mostly because I'm uninformed about the situation. But anyway. I'm just saying. I think it, it's, it's often, people like to position themselves as the underdog, and the reason is, it's kind of easy to be the underdog. Your odds probably aren't that bad, and if you win, you get to brag like four times as much. Being the underdog is awesome. Nobody ever, ever, there's a reason everyone cheers for the underdog, right? That's gotta be bullshit. You work your whole life to get to like the top of the field. And then people are like, I want the person who isn't as good as you to win. Why? Because it would be a better story. Especially when people are like, I, I don't really watch sports, but I'm gonna watch the finals. And I really hope the team that is the underdog wins. You're like, motherfucker, hundred like if you're talking about baseball, 162 game season. We were the best team by like 5%. That's a significant margin. And then you want the other team to win just because, you know, oh, they, you know, it would be a plucky underdog story. Fuck, man. Have some respect for the overdogs sometimes. So we got triple shot, which I'm very excited about. I like triple shot a lot. I just don't, I think the overdog doesn't get a lot of credit. The overdog, and if you think overdog sounds like a stupid phrase, I agree, but what else are you going to call it? The favorite? Okay, the favorite. They get a shit rap, man, because if they win, everyone goes, well, you were supposed to win. And if they lose, everyone goes, ha, 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 turns out you're not as cocky as you thought, motherfucker. You're not as good as you thought you were. That's a shit place to be. I don't know, maybe it's, I'd rather just come in second forever so that if I accidentally came in first, people would be like, wow, that's amazing. It's not that amazing, man. It's, it's, it's not that unlikely to happen. That's why I hate playing video games with people and they're like, well, you're going to win. That's like the first thing they say, you're going to win. Don't say that, man. What you're, what you're basically saying is if if I lose, I'm, I'm people are going to say I got fucked. Because I was a huge favorite or something like that. No thank you, sir. Why can't we just play on an even field, you know? Even playing field with one another. I can tell this run's overpowered because we're uh, already starting to get on some real tangents here. Mr. Fred, I will enjoy killing you. I like you, Mr. Fred. That's why I'm going to kill you last. Remember when I said I'm going to kill you last? I lied. Oh, jeez. Don't take damage, though. <laughs> Got to get a little closer than I'd like to charge out the shot, but there we go. Uh, I'm happy about it, because deal with the devil, maybe. Magic scab is pretty okay. None of those items are worth it, actually. I know a lot of people think Rotten Baby is pretty good. Some people have told me Rotten Baby is their favorite baby. Nah, dog. Little Brimstone. I'll take a little brimstone to the ends of the effing earth. Yeah, this seems pretty good. I'll take a speed upgrade. I don't mind. I'll take a health upgrade. I don't mind. PhD was a pretty solid pickup for us here. It normally is, but... Like, especially here. And I think there's not a whole lot that could really stop us on this run right now. So I'm not sure... We got one of each coin in that pile, I think. Uh, I'm not trying to say, you know, tune out, but I am pretty sure that the, the win is more or less guaranteed here. The only thing that could really cement it further at this point is if we picked up uh, a full health bill or something like that, or a, a sun card or something like that, which would 
pretty much just give us the win guaranteed. But we already do sort of have that in the form of uh, this guppy's paw. As long as I keep like... What does he get? Three for each one? As long as I keep four red hearts, we will get a, uh, we will get a full cap of HP with permanent Polaroid invincibility for the uh, Isaac fight. And we can go through all of our HP first. It's actually like stupidly overpowered, I think, right now. I don't think, like, I'm not saying the game designers are stupid. The situation we've specifically got it in right now is kind of stupid. We might even become guppy on this run. Not to mention, if we die, we come back to fucking life. Like, one way or the other. Lazarus's rags or guppy's uh, collar here. This might be... It's not the most exciting run, necessarily, I've had in uh, in Rebirth. But it might be the, the singularly most powerful. I'm not even sure if triple shot is, like, a good thing. With mom's knife, because it does, dr and say with brimstone, it does drastically increase your charge time, but uh, I think it's worth taking regardless. I know there's value in hematomesis, but I'm not going to take it just because it is risky as well. Really don't care if I get hit a couple times here. Virgo does give us that like Celtic cross effect, which is what worked out for us there. Uh, we're headed up to the cathedral for sure. The other thing that would uh, sort this one out, like no questions asked, is a uh, map compass, or yeah, map compass, or. No, just pretty much just map compass. By the way, we're on the cathedral 22 minutes in. Zazel's not overpowered, though. No, sir. I've, I've gotten off of my Zazel's overpowered kick. He's overpowered, in my opinion, of course. But I also think that's totally okay. I think it's nice that there is a character that starts a little bit more... A, little, a lot stronger than the other vanilla characters. But I like that that character's in there. Because there have been times when I've popped off like a six game losing streak and then I'm like, man, I really need a win. And then you just play as Azazel and you start building some momentum and it's all, you know, fun and games. We should come down here because we could become Guppy. Two chests. Oh, come on. The dream was real. That's Tammy. So Tammy. Plus. I really thought that would shoot like crazy powerful knives. I'm going to stick with Guppy's Paw. You know, we've used Tammy's head before uh, with Mom's Knife, and it wasn't very good. But I think that was because we had not very much damage on that Mom's Knife run. So I think that, you know, like, we'd probably do a lot better with it now. But I think Guppy's uh, Paw, just to save us the chance, there's no way I'm rerolling this whole run. That's what the six does. There's absolutely no chance of that happening. Sweet. Two Are You a Wizard pills. Very excited about that, by the way. We could use Guppy's Paw to maybe protect our Eternal Heart, which seems like a right choice because we just like break even on Guppy's Paw. But if we're just gonna break even on Guppy's Paw, why even effing do it, you know? Yeah, oh, we took damage. Oh well. Down to the next floor. We did unlock something. We unlocked something icky specifically. It must be Daddy Longlegs uh, as the boss fight, I guess. Poop. Book of Revelations. Holy Water. And Pisces. Tears up plus knockback shot. I don't think that's going to help us too much, but the tears up might be sort of nice. Book of Revelations gives us a spirit heart, and, you know, these items are mostly shitty. Let's just get that out of the way, but what's done is done there. There's not too much else left to say about that. Thanks, Holy Water. Much appreciated. Uh, we had to do a big room at some point, I guess. We were pretty much bordering, like, three of them. One of these is not like the other. One of these things just doesn't... This is like my nightmare room if I didn't have damage. But I do. I did look at the seed on this run, right? Yeah, I looked... I wrote it down. Right. Yes, I did. Are you gonna hurt me if I don't pick up that money? I'm gonna go out on a limb and suggest that that remaining two cents is probably not gonna be that much of a difference maker on this run. Or the, you know, remaining ten cents in there. Eight cents. I didn't really see how much it was. Look, I was never very good at math, okay? That's not true. I was statistically slightly above average at math. Not that I'm bragging. Probably not going to need those keys either. I like this room. Snag me some HP. Maybe I will. Uh, I like this room as well. Anytime I get the opportunity to BF an enemy that uh, normally BFs me. What do you mean I should get rid of Hookworm for uh, Isaac's Fork? 
Where's your sense of adventure? This is like something you gotta do before you die. Beat Blue Baby with Isaac's Fork as your active trinket. If you're sincerely thinking that, by the way, you gotta turn off your min-max muscle for a little bit, baby. This run is sorted. Sit back and enjoy the ride. You know, we'll be at our vacation destination shortly. Balls of Steel is a little bit of an exception. I'll always take that. Now. Balls of Steel, also the name of the greatest Christopher Walken, Will Ferrell crossover movie between Blades of Glory and Balls of Fury. Where does the steel come from? You got a, you got a problem, motherfucker? Why don't you take it up with the Paramount Productions? I don't make the rules. Yeah, this seems relatively easy. The gate is dead. Long die the gates. Same to you. Really, at this point, you're just delaying the inevitable game. You should pretty much just give me instant access uh, to whatever I want. Because I'm going to take it either way. I've had a good time on this run. It has, I'll admit, it's been exceptionally fast. I did not expect, uh... I did not expect the run to go this quickly. At all. That's another Are You a Wizard pill. Which at this point, I want to take it just to show the game I can still win even with it. I'm with it. I'm hip. You like that dodge right there? I didn't even think about it. It was just like doing double dutch back on the playground. I mean, I didn't do double dutch back on the playground because I'm a, you know, big man. I forgot how to use pills. There we go. Alright, might want to get the brain checked out. You know, get that old noggin a, a flogging. That's all right, brain's melting a little bit. I've been playing a lot on the PS4 controller. I think that's what did it. I was like, I gotta hit R1. Look at this console pleb. Tell you what, I'm just gonna stand like right here. Yeah, I figured Celtic Cross would hit action pretty quickly there. Easy win. Easy, easy, easy. And we've unlocked Abaddon. I have no idea what that is. But in any case, thanks for watching. We've got another character kind of decked out here. Didn't look like it was going to go that way. I think we might do like an Eden run next. We've got 33 Eden tokens. But for now, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. And I'll see you next time.